Lord WBL, the Kenton Wildcats making their 11th playoff appearance, but their first without Mike Mock at the helm. Brent Fackler's team, after dropping their first two games of the year, have won eight in a row and have emerged as a dark horse candidate to win the Division Three State Division Four state title thanks to defense. Only two teams, Coldwater and Salina, score more than 15 on the Wildcats all season as Kenton's D has held opponents to just over 11 per game. Wildcats taking the field. You'll hear lots from Mr. Colin Stoller in this one. Trent Heights takes the snap, gets pressured, fires long to Chris Deerdorf. Kicker reels it in, gets to the 10-yard line before he's brought down. 48-yard pickup. Then it's Heights. QB keeper taken down inside the five. They're knocking on the door. It's Heights. Back to pass again. We mentioned Colin Stoller. He makes the touchdown grab. 7-0 Wildcats in front. Poor Clinton in their playoffs for the first time in school history. Their pass, though, tipped at the line. Tristan Reicheldorfer gets the easy interception. Returns it for a few. Cats look to capitalize. Heights throwing again, looking deep. Look at this heave. Hits Stoller in stride. No one's catching him. 81-yard touchdown pass. Wildcats go up 14 to nothing. After a poor Clinton touchdown, the Wildcats back to Colin Blackford on the out route. Heights finds him. Hair flowing in the wind. Picks up the first down. Austin Scott getting poetic on us here. Then it's Kenton trying to get in the end zone, but Throw an interception. Poor Clinton throws one of their own. Aaron Tillman, the big D lineman, gets the pick. Nice return. Wildcats with great field position, and they cash in. Heights, the fade to Staller. Third touchdown connection for these two in the first half alone. And running clock in the second half. Kenton wins big, 49-14. Coach Fackler's first.